had to miss the last one. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. You know, I've been working on a little passion project for a little while now. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, they don't let me share some of the fun stuff that I want to share with you guys. So for my spicy content, go to my o I mean my uh, newsletter down in the description down below. Go ahead and put a link down there. I know newsletters aren't usually sexy, but I keep it pretty minimal whenever I find really good deals on certain fun topics. It's things that I've had access to for the better part of four years now with all the different partners I have, but these platforms just don't let me share those links. So it could be Sorry to be ambiguous about this, but it could be like certain occasions, 4th of July that just passed or upcoming holidays. I have access to really cool deals, but I can't put them here. So I want to share them. The newsletter is the only way, for now anyway. So go ahead and join at the link in the description. And it's me personally putting all this together. I'm not spamming you guys at most. It's like once a week. I might send you an email with some cool stuff. And it's nothing that I wouldn't want to personally receive myself. So again, it's just another way to kind of stay up to date with you guys too. Because if I get plucked from any of these... Uh, platforms that won't be fun but at least i can reach out to you guys in that front as well in the meantime i'm going to get you guys some really nice deals so link in the description to join let's go ahead and get into this subject matter very nice Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking, and I've had something here for a little while. I've been prolonging the video, but today is the day. You guys probably have seen quite a bit of content on it as of late, but I wanna have my fun with it as well. Inside this bag is a full length AR-15, so why don't I show you? And so, we'll go ahead and make a full video on this. We're gonna shoot it suppressed, unsuppressed, have some fun with it. And there are those loud summer Texas cicadas. I hope you guys can just bear with that. We try to throw rocks at the trees, not much we could do. Maybe they'll quiet down when we start shooting. Anyway, boom, there it is. So the magic in this is that it is not a SBR. It's not an AR pistol because the whole brace thing right now is up in the air and that's annoying. This is a full length AR-15, as you guys can see. So just pull back the charging handle, bada, boom, latch it in. 16 inch barrel, AR-15, and it folds not by the folding stock, because again, this is AR-15, it takes the bolt to reciprocate within here. But some people got the law uh, adapter, the folding stock, but with an AR-15, with the folding stock, it can't operate in that position, and so it's just to condense it down a little bit more. So obviously it can't operate in the position of it being folded by the barrel, and so why not have it fold by the barrel and really have a condensed form factor? So it's a lot of talking, but how about this? Just so uh, there's some visuals to it. Let's show it next to a 16 inch barreled Bushmaster ACR with the stock folded next to this AR with it folded in half. You can start to see the advantage. That being said, the ACR can shoot from the folded position if you need to, whereas this is just so much more for storing. But hey, it's a pretty cool proposition. So they come with this Red Rock outdoor gear uh, backpack and it fits in there perfectly. As far as what else I have in here, check this out. Got a 30 round mag up here. It's actually a 29 round mag since this is on YouTube, 20, 29 rounds now that I remember. Sorry about that. I got a full size pistol in this patch right here. This is a Springfield Armory Echelon. I'm yet to make a full video on this channel with it, but I thought why not if it it's in here. I haven't really put much in this other section of the bag too, but hey, I got a suppressor on here. So last night I actually went ahead and put my Huxworks muzzle device on there. So check this out. If you need to go to town real quickly, then go ahead and shoot it unsuppressed. But if you got the time for it, there we go, this entire package fit inside that bag. Got a Spark Solar red dot sight on here with a 3X magnifier from Vortex. Comes with a really nice bolt carrier group. It's a four position adjustable gas system, U for unsuppressed, suppress for suppress, and then two settings in between there so you could really fine tune it. I'm curious what it thinks about this suppressor because it's flow through, so the rifle really shouldn't know it's suppressed, but we'll see. Comes with a nice rubberized Magpul grip, the locking, was this a CTR stock, I believe? There's three different caliber options, 6.5 Grindel, 300 Blackout, and what I have is 223 Wild, which safely shoots 223 and 556, and it's got a one in seven twist barrel. There's different Cerakotes available. Mine's obviously just black here. And the main claim to fame is, of course, that it folds in half. I'll show you how that works real quickly to fold it. Uh, go ahead and pull on this string here, unlatch it, pull the charging handle back just a little bit, and then off it goes. I would have probably taken the suppressor off if I was gonna put it back away. The folding mechanism, really does not add any weight penalty whatsoever. It weighs 6.15 pounds. So right there with a standard AR. Uh, so really no weight penalty there. There's no accuracy penalty either. These things shoot sub MOA. If it didn't fold in half, it's a high-end AR-15 that comes with some 
cool trick stuff out of the box. It just so happens to fold, but it is a very, very quality AR-15. Um, and so with that, it commands a nice price. Uh, it's about $2,000, but yeah, think of it that way. It's not $2,000 just for the sake of it folding. It's actually a really quality AR through and through, but it's got that really cool feature. No weight penalty, definitely no accuracy penalty. Overall, this thing is built super, super well. Just for fun, let's go ahead and just throw it all the way to suppressed. I'm just curious just how soft that shoots. All right, so this will definitely not run. I'm just curious how soft this is. Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead, go back to the U and that should make this run happier. Yeah, okay. That suppressor on the suppressed setting, actually not gassy at all. I was expecting it to be, but maybe a little mag dump will showcase it. Well, with whatever was left there. Yeah, not gassing me out, which is nice. Even though it's a flow through suppressor, I've had, had this one gas me out a little bit on certain guns. But okay, looks like I didn't really have to mess with the gas system online personally. But if you're running a traditional baffled can, you certainly can. Wow, I always have to miss that last one. How about that though, pretty cool. Well guys, there it is. That is the Fold AR. Mo better. So, does that make this AR mo better than the rest because it folds in half? I think if you look at it just with that as its only party trick, um, it's cool, but you really don't appreciate it until you realize it's just a quality AR regardless of the folding mechanism. So, it's a quality AR that just so happens to fold. Clear. Let's go ahead and make it fold once more. So, there's that. You guys seen me have my fun with it. And there's that package. So, we go ahead and just throw it in a heel. And there it is, that full length AR. You can fit the suppressor separately as well. But yeah, 16 inch barreled AR that suppresses nicely and all of that. You got enough room for a 30 round mag, a full size pistol as well, all within the bag it comes with. So I think it's really, really cool. Um, I didn't know if it was novelty or what, but no, real world application makes a lot of sense if you don't want to tote around a whole full size rifle. Um, this is a little bit less uh, conspicuous. Is that the right word? I don't know. I'm dyslexic again i'll put a link in the description to the newsletter so you guys can be up to date with all the stuff that this platform and others don't let me share so with all that being said thanks so much for watching see you guys next time